With the election over, I thought it would be fun to sit down and talk about a sometimes controversial subject, polling. Joining me is famed pollster Mark DeCenzo. Mark, welcome. Hi, Brian. Thanks for having me. Okay, now I know Gallup and Rasmussen feared pretty poorly yeah. in this last election, uh, but you didn't fear too well either. So how did you get it so wrong for so long, Mark? Well, I got to say, I kind of don't know what you're referring to. Okay, well, uh, just to pick one here, uh, this is back in late June, and your statistical models said that Mitt Romney had a 97% chance of winning. Yes. And a 3% chance of the sun hitting the earth before the election. Yeah, uh, missed the mark on that one slightly. I don't know, you know, sometimes as a pollster, you really just have to conduct a poll of your own gut, you know? Get that gut feeling. So you, you made up the numbers. Uh, Brian, I don't know how to tell you this, but you know how they conduct polls, right? Like, basically, you call a few people. Uh, no one in the grand scheme of how many people are going to vote, very, very few people. Like, two of those people pick up their phones. And you take those two answers and you multiply by, like, uh, how many white people you think are going to go vote. And then you subtract, like, how many people you think are going to oversleep. What I'm saying is, like, there's a lot of personal flavor that's got to go into it. I mean, that's not helpful information at all. It's super helpful. Helped me get on about 45 talk shows. I was on Fox News so often that they actually awarded me the Murdoch Cross. What is the Murdoch Cross? It's like a medal made out of the bones of Rupert Murdoch's enemies. Okay, so after the first presidential debate, mm -hmm. right, your firm projected that Mitt Romney would win 600 electoral votes. Sure, sure. Okay, Mark, there were only 538 electoral votes in the Electoral College. You'd be surprised how few people know that. But you, you, but you still, you can't just bump it up like that. Well, I mean, at a certain point, which is it, Brian? Should I kill myself trying to figure out how many people want to vote for who and how that number changes over time? Or should I just pick a number and stick on it? So you started on the talk show circuit, and your predictions got even worse, all right? Well, now, on Fox News, you said that Mitt Romney was winning 98% of women and 100% specifically of black lesbians. Uh, black feminist Mormon-hating lesbians. So basically, the, the, the group, the least likely to vote for Mitt Romney. You gotta understand the data that I was working with at the time. I'm a pollster, okay? And I can guarantee you that 100% of the blonde lady who was asking me questions really wished that Mitt Romney was gonna be president. I have to say, Mark, that I think what you've done is neither responsible nor professional. Well, telling people what they wanna hear pays the bills. I mean, look where you were. Uh -huh. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm running some simulations even as we speak, and i got some fresh data coming in. Let me see what it is here. We are now uh, estimating that Barack Obama will win re-election with 303 electoral votes. Okay, you can't predict that. It's happened, it's over, it's done. Oh, but, 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 but. Hold on. New, fresh polling. This is sort of like more opinion polling. Turns out that a strong majority of well-put-together ladies think that Brian Sack has a roguish charm. Is that true? Would you like it to be true? Yes, very much. Then that is a gift I give to you. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mark Desenzo. No problem. We'll be right back.